Hello, gun aficionados and gun enthusiasts. Today we're looking at a couple of J-frame revolvers, the old and the new. In the back here is a Model 60 stainless steel, no dash, with the bobbed hammer, double action only. The Model 60 was first introduced in 1965. It's an all stainless steel revolver. This one is double action only from the factory. It's got a grooved trigger. Very easy to stage. Very easy to stage. And here we have the same gun in a scandium frame. It's about four ounces lighter. That's about 22 ounces. This one's about 18. I put some rubber grips on here because uh, I tried putting those wood grips on here, but it was just too painful. This is a scandium frame, so it's very light. You can always tell the it's model 360J. You can tell the scandium because of these little rivets. The, the aluminum frame don't have that. Only the scandiums have that. Some of the differences are this one, you can change out the front sight. The barrel is sleeved. So it's, I, I guess that's a steel barrel in there with the uh, scandium outer portion. Cylinder, I believe, is steel. The 360J has a little piece of steel up there to protect the frame. It protects the frame from flame cutting. And as far as the size, the Model 60 has a tapered barrel. The 360J does not. I believe they're both the same length. One and seven eighths. frame on the uh, 360 is a little bit different. It looks more like the Magnum frame. But it's light, very light. Smooth trigger. Has a key lock. When you, when you turn that key, this little flag pops up and says locked. <laughs> Firing pin is on the frame. has the firing pin on the, on the hammer. Very easy to stage. This one is easy to stage also. Very easy to stage. Very light. Painful to shoot, but you know it's easy to carry. It's dark, easy to conceal, reliable. Smith and Wesson, solid construction. It's a beautiful little piece. This is the Model 360J. The J stands for Japan. Just kidding, but this is the uh, preferred weapon of the uh, Japanese police department. This is the old tried and true Model 60. This one does not have the pen barrel, which is odd, even though it's a no dash, Model 60 no dash, all stainless steel, beautiful piece. Very nice. Here's some footage of this gun in action.
Not bad, huh? Not bad. Nice little gun. It's got a little weight to it, so you're not gonna have that recoil like you do with the Scandia. And here, let's take a look at some footage in the 360J. Call this one the snappy one. <laughs> this gun is snappy. It wants to jump out of your hand. But you know, it's good solid gun. Smith and Wesson quality all the way. J Frank, 38 special. And this will handle plus P. These guns were invented before plus P rounds were around, but the steel they used on these guns back then, I mean, this thing is so strong. I would not hesitate using plus P's on this to carry, of course, not to take to the range. Well, there you have it. Some old and some new. Take care of your guns. They'll take care of you.